Um, you obviously said, Danny, it was must win for the playoff chances tomorrow night. Do you, do you stand by that two days on? Yeah, it felt that way and it feels that way sort of um, after the game prior to it. Um, again, it's not mathematically impossible. We know it's going to be a tough ask, but um, with the squad we have available for selection now for the games, with it's been quite depleted, I think it's going to be a challenge. But look, we've got to look positive into that. Other players will get opportunities and we've got to keep fighting for every point and seeing where we where we end we can't say in our playoffs we can't make it we've got to think that it's possible we know it's going to be tough we know it's going to be a challenge but we've got to think that we can sort of keep performing winning football games to try and um, close the gap how will um, just out of curiosity how will like, the next 24 hours pan out I understand you're travelling down to Crawley today yeah I'm going to train this morning then travel down um, to Crawley and then we'll do um, a light preparation Tuesday morning for the game were you training like down at Brighton or something like that? Yeah, light light session, yeah. And um, Jack Goodman, I believe he was with the first team on Saturday. Was that just for a bit of experience, or was he is he now in contention just because of the injuries and stuff? Yeah, no, he'll be in he'll be in contention. Um, <laughs> To be in the squad, uh, the reason he travelled was for that. We travelled with 20 players, so Jack um, gained some invaluable experience on um, on that trip. I feel. Just, I was wondering whether you've tried, not necessarily recently, but since you've come in, anything different from a motivational perspective with the players. So obviously, I appreciate you think outside the box compared to some coaches. So I was, I was just wondering if you tried anything different, maybe speakers or posters, anything like that. No, I've just tried to be really consistent, really, with the players. Um, always trying to make them accountable and responsible as well. So give them ownership of what they're doing. I feel as though then you can achieve sort of higher levels of performance if you feel as though you own something as a player. Um, so yeah, it's just been really consistent with that, reflecting in different ways. So sometimes individually, sometimes in unit discussions, sometimes collectively as a whole, and just trying to have like a little bit of a variety to it so it doesn't become monotonous with that feedback. So um, we just continue doing that really. Yeah.